Hi! Who's lurking? Do do. <laughs> that was a spectacular entrance by me. 32 people. Hi, Joanne S. Hello. Holy shit, said Panic at the Tube Man's. Hello, everybody. Spontaneous entrance. I haven't tweeted this yet. So give me a moment to be incredibly boring while I ignore you. Um, I am doing a live show right now. Younow.com slash done is not on fire. Come look with me. If you type W slash, you're supposed to put a space before the thing that you're saying with. Yeah, I guess. Okay, there we go. There's my tweet. BAM! Let's see what happens. Hashtag placenta waffles, said Emily G. <laughs> you go, Emily G, and don't let anybody stop you. Um, let's... Placenta... Why is there... Is placenta waffles a thing? Did... Um, oh, here I am. Hi! It's working. Hello, everybody. <laughs> Tweeted. Please explain hashtag placenta waffles. Any tips for GCSEs? I'm guessing you're doing them next year. Pretty easy. Danception. Yeah, I'm not doing the Danception this time. Ain't nobody got time for that. We know how that goes. It goes blah 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 blah, and everyone goes, oh damn, that sounds horrible, stop it. And I go, <laughs> okay. And good times were had by all. I go back to school tomorrow. Tomorrow, September the 2nd. Oh my god, the time is coming, isn't it? That's depressing. That's sad for you. I am sad for you. Uh, 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 uh. Hi Dan, when is your next video? It's at some point this week. What day is it? It's Tuesday. Yes. Mm -mm -mm. I've been back at school for months. What kind of crazy school do you go to, you freak? Hi! So, everybody has probably started arriving now. Hello everybody. How have you been since last Tuesday? Which seems like it's gone like... I'm like, should I even have done this today? Oh, someone's sending me a message. It says, hey! Thank you very much for the message. Oh yeah, they um. So you now is different now, isn't it? They've got these weird things that you can get, like messages and marriage proposals are different now. That's strange. I think you have to be on the app. Oh, there's Siobhan saying, "Hey Dan, I can't keep up with these you now updates." <laughs> and I think I'm like the longest running you nower. Does Alfie still do you nows? I don't know. I've been doing it since 2012. It's weird when you think of that, isn't it? I've been doing you now for longer than I've been doing the radio show. Weird. Weird. And Tuesdays at 9 o'clock. I don't recall changing that. Marry me, said somebody. I, d I don't know how you do the marriage feature. Oh, someone sending me loads of emojis. I'm just having fun reading all of these <laughs> messages. I have no idea how it works. So anyway, have you all been good since the last Tuesday? It feels like we've been in a, in a time vortex and I'm going to put the hat on so I stop... Uh, doing stuff to my head. I've got it like, which which way am I pointing now? Am I pointing towards the chat now or am I pointing away from the chat right now? <laughs> Someone said, can you say hi to Audi in that? Hello to you two, towards, towards, okay. Because last time I found out that it was mirroring it in the opposite direction, so I mirrored it. So this is currently facing the way that I don't usually have it. So I'm finding this incredibly disturbing. I'm like, is that is that my face? Is that what I look like? Weird. Weird. I'm sure you guys know what I mean by the whole, like, strangeness of mirror image things. Oh my god. So weird. I have no idea what's happening. The famous hat. Don't wear it. I have to, otherwise I'll just touch my hair constantly. You all know it. The hat is gone. Your bed is just... <laughs> I have I have not made the best. I, I have guests round, and I have not made the bed. I am sorry. It's incredibly offensive of me to do. Get the swag hat. I think that's still in the exact position I left it since last Tuesday, which shows how often I tidy my bedroom. There we go. I'll put that next to the uh, cat box thing. Good times. Who's round? You're round. That's what I meant by guests. <laughs> all of you guys in my bedroom. Kind of, in a way. You all are, aren't you? Hey, I like cats, said Rosa. Thanks. Say hi to Joe and Lily. What's all this mail? Dan, where is Phil? I... somewhere. You are the swag master, thank you. Long time no talk, indeed. I love you, thanks. Follow me on Twitter, no. Your videos make my day, thank you. Not very often. Hi from Alaska, what's that like, cold? You made my bad day good, that's good. I love you so much. You amazing, oh wow, okay, I'm gonna stop reading these. Um, for now, 
do, 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 do. I've got an itchy armpit. That's great. So, how are you today? I'm okay. I didn't sleep very well last night because I was traumatized by... If you, if you saw my tweet, I did not end up sleeping on the sofa. Um, basically, as I was about to turn off the lights and get into my bed and go to sleep, I just... I saw a daddy long legs fly through the window and then it was just a huge dangly leg, daddy long legs, and I was just like, oh... For God's sake, and I was like, what, are you, are you going to fly out of the room? Are you going to fly out of the room? This is all going to be okay? And then it just, it was just, just you, you know how they have no consistency, just completely randomly, just buzzing about, flying into everything, and I'm like, you're going to, you're going to land on my face while I'm sleeping. I don't, I'm not afraid of them, but I just know that if I was to sleep, or more specifically, go on Reddit or Tumblr on my phone, which is what I like to do before I sleep, pretty much every night, that the daddy long legs would be attracted to the light that I'm holding right in front of my face, and then attack my face, and that would just be awful. So, uh, I spent like three hours trying to find the daddy long legs last night, and I just couldn't find it. I just accepted that there was nothing I could do about it, and if I went into a different room, it'd probably follow me. So, it was traumatizing, but I eventually got to sleep. <laughs> It was traumatizing though. Incredibly traumatizing. When did you sleep? Like 2 a.m., 3 a.m.? I have no idea. Boom, 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 boom. Dad, I missed the radio show. The radio show! Oh, yeah, so that happened. How did you guys like the first official episode of the internet takeover on Radio 1? I'm aware that the stream didn't work for a lot of you guys. Sorry about that. I think someone's probably getting fired for that because that was a bad mistake by, by them. It was so short. I know! It felt disturbingly short. It ended and I was like, this is, this is weird. It's just, it's over too quickly. It, it just felt strange. It felt way too inappropriately short, didn't it? It was very weird. Um, but it was fun. Did you like the intensive views? Of course, we designed the intensive views to be taken by the other YouTubers, so it was a bit weird. There is not a spider behind me, Alyssa. <laughs> um, so, yeah, I look forward to seeing people like Zoe and Louise and Tyler and Troy do that. And also Tom Scar next week. That should be pretty funny. And the 7 Second Challenge Live. We have to allow Phil to reclaim that format <laughs> that he created somewhat after it was seized by every vlogger in the universe. That was fun, wasn't it? The seven second challenge thing. I think we're gonna we're gonna keep using it. If you haven't seen it, because you didn't watch the show, or you haven't seen how how can you even be watching this and not be aware of what the seven second challenge is? Pro probably a few of you, but anyway. Um yeah, so that was fun. That was cool. And then it went so quickly. I think we're going to have to drop a conversation in it because we were like way almost too late. And we had to like just, I had to make Lord a minute shorter and then just go, eh, that's shorter than it's supposed to be. Because they told us like two hours before uh, we were supposed to go on air that the news is right after our show. And the news is serious business. On our old Sunday slot, if we were like a minute early or a minute late into the surgery, then Alan, who did the surgery, just said, like, yeah, that's fine, we'll just play a shorter song later. But if it's the news, it has to be exactly at 10. And me and Phil ending a show on time is not something that we're good at. So <laughs> uh, they made me pre-record the message going into it, which I thought was a good idea. And then we were just like, okay, let's just let's just end Kanye West, even if it's in the middle of a sentence, and then just cut straight into it. And it was quite funny because we play all of the uh, the songs of DVDs that are music videos, and the guy that's supposed to do that accidentally put "Hit Me Baby One More Time" in instead of "Toxic." So there I was trying to impress a brand new audience of people listening to the radio, and I was like, it's time for "Toxic." Nope, hit me maybe one more time. <laughs> Which is funny. So many things can go horribly wrong that have nothing to do with me or Phil, or just a catastrophic technical failures that have nothing to do with any humans, but you have no idea, and it just looks like me or Phil have done something horribly wrong. Which is the magic. Phil can get his nipple out. He's, he can. I really should ask what we can now get away with after nine. Though if the, like, the subject of inappropriate innuendos, uh, I think my love, my lump is about to fall off the table, so I'm just gonna, just gonna leave you for five seconds. How was your interlude? 
Save the lamp from falling off the table. Everything's fine. Do you like J.J. Abrams? Yeah, sure. That's fine. Mm -mm -mm -mm. Turn your snap back around. No, I'm... I wish I had my furry hat. I'd look much less stupid. Do I, I have literally no idea where that hat is. Is it in my drawer? Let me find out. Do, 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 do. That's... Nope, those are the mittens that go along with the hat. You know my, my furry trapper hat? They actually come with two mittens that are like this. That I really... I never get to utilise, because... I mean, if you're going out on a cold day, then you can wear, like, little gloves or whatever. But these are for, like, I'm going in a walk in the woods in the cold and I need to wear these. But then I've just, I'm, I never leave the house. So when it's cold and I'm in the kind of appropriate environment to wear fuzzy mittens, underutilized, to be honest. That's fine. <laughs> who are you? Said some people. I forget that... Some people don't know who people are on you now. Um, how should I introduce myself? Hi, my name is Dan. I am a YouTuber. I make videos about how I am not a functional member of society and or am quite sarcastic. If you want to view them, red play button there. Thank you for viewing the videos. There we go. I'm sure that was fine. <laughs> Come to the south coast of England. That's very specific, Jigglepuff Ash. <laughs> nice one, Dan. Thank you. Yeah, I'm a pro. I'm a super pro. What happened to Aeroplane Adventures? I just stopped giving a shit. <laughs> Those are two, two fun videos. Two shite videos. But, I mean, it's a second channel. Come to Bristol. Let's, let's not turn this into... Come to blah blah blah. <laughs> Thank you to people that are sending me messages that I am indeed reading up there. It's definitely a way to bypass the crazy waterfall of the chat. Have you ever been to Cornwall? Yeah, I've been to Cornwall a lot. What's a, There's a, a town called Padstow, which has lots of Rick Stein restaurants. And people call it Padstein because they, they, they have mad bants there. And there's like a, a weird shop that sells crystal balls and dragon statues. Like, you know the kind of... 40-year-old woman that wears the three wolves howling at the moon t-shirt. It's one of those stores that sells kind of weird water features that look like castles and just statues of dragons. <laughs> it's a good shop. I like that kind of thing. That's like my mum. I do like that kind of person. That was good. All the messages people are sending me are just requesting that I come to some <laughs> geographic location. Hmm. Hmm. Who knows? Maybe one day, come to Phil's mum said YouTuber thing. <laughs> yeah, thank you. <laughs> thank you for the message. <laughs> Do you like chunky or smooth peanut butter? I like chunky peanut butter. I like nuts, so crunch. That's good. Seriously, like bags of like mixed roasted nuts are my weakness. If I'm at an airport and I'm like, what do I want from WH Smith and I see uh, like a giant, giant bag of mixed assorted roasted nuts, which is like four weeks of fat. I'll just be like, yeah, I want them. And then I'll eat them all to myself for about one minute. It's a bit really bad. I was like, Marcus at VidCon, are nuts healthy? And he was like, oh, sometimes I have dry almonds without any seasoning. And I was there eating a bag of jumbo honey roasted cashew nuts. <laughs> Does this count? No, Dan. Marcus was disappointed in my health attempts. <laughs> hmm. D -d 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 can flop, can flop. Yep, the, the word I invented. That was really terrible, wasn't it? It was incredibly terrible. That was awful. It was unacceptable. I start freshman. Any tips? Um, what, high school? Good luck. <laughs> um... I mean, what's high school like? Do you stay with many people that you went to middle school with when you go to high school? Or do you usually just go to a separate high school? Because in England, most high schools are just part of the same place you go from when you're 11 to 18. So you're stuck with the same people. Same high school. It's like a zoo. Same high school. You make school better. <laughs> Dan, get Phil to find your hat. Um, I don't know where he is, and I can't just demand that he find things for me. Thanks for the message. 
Yes, the same high school. Okay, well, if it's a new one, then talk to people who look scared and you'll make friends, but then you'll probably be friends with all the losers, but that's okay. We'll never be the mean girls. We'll always be the losers. That's fine. Dan, what is that hipster hat? It's the thing that prevents me from constantly adjusting my hair. Um, I'd never wear... I don't, I don't think the leather hat is a good look. I don't like it. <laughs> I don't think there's anything against snapbacks. I just... This one's a bit uh, offensive. I don't think it's real leather, in case you're offended by that. Because obviously, I'm great with that. What's your opinion on veganism? I think that really, the whole world should be vegan. Um, but everybody requires so much convincing and it's just, you know, meat is so much part of society. It's not like a weird thing, is it? Yeah, it's not even remotely. Like, veganism is the freaking weird thing when, you know, maybe eating cows should be the weird thing. Let's see what the world's like in 200 years. Do I have Snapchat? Nope. So if you're speaking to someone on Snapchat that's me, it's probably a 50-year-old man. <laughs> Internet safety, everybody. Everyone's asking me how my day was. It was good. Did some things. Some serious business emails. As you know that it's weird. Now that we've done that first Monday show, like me and Phil can't get it out of our heads that we're not going to have to go back to the BBC again this week. Because that's just crazy. So much freedom ahead. And we can finally start working on some other things that we want to do that are exciting in addition to the radio show which is why it's great that they still want us to come on once a month and do the other stuff how exciting um so yeah that the merchandise store that is p perpetually being redesigned that will not suck soon sorry about that being slow and the other things We'll probably tell you about one of the things that we're planning on doing pretty soon, and the other ones might take some time and planning, which we certainly can begin now. It's all very exciting. New shoes. Oh, yeah. I bought some new shoes. Do you want to see them? Uh, mm, no. No, I don't want to show you the shoes. That's fine. I bought two pairs of shoes. Uh, the shoes that I reblogged on Tumblr, uh, I had to pre-order them. They only come out in November. Everybody wants me to talk about the fappening. Oh wow, there we go. That's that's opinion. That's a conversation. I can't really dodge any kind of difficult conversations with that one, can I? Peter Capaldi. Good. Are they leather? Nope. They're whatever woolly fabric most shoes are made of. <laughs> Why did Phil tack? Oh yeah. So I mean, how many of you guys are superstitious in the sense that like? When I got my new shoes in the post, I was just like, oh, came up the stairs after getting the delivery, put them on the dining table, and Phil was literally just like, shove, like, don't do that. And I was like, really? Really? Well, what do you think will happen if I place this box containing some shoes on the table? What do you really think is going to happen? <laughs> oh, thank you to the, the tipping thing that just popped up. <laughs> yeah. You'll die. Death. Is that what will happen? Death. My feet will fall off. You will die. Slender will kill you. Phil will fall down the stairs again. That would explain it. I think that probably correlates the amount of times I put things on tables versus the amount of time he falls down the stairs. Yep. Do you read every comment? What, on this? Yeah, it's not that hard. You should play the piano. No, I have learned nothing new. Your bra is showing, is it? Orcs. Spotify update. I don't know if I've been listening to anything new recently. Let me find out. I've been listening to the songs that Alt-J has released from their upcoming album recently quite a lot. I rediscovered my love, well rather I just felt like listening to a lot of J Electronica. Any of you guys know who J Electronica is? He's a rapper? No? Okay, that's fine. Don't expect you to. Um, Ariana Grande. I was sampling her album. What do you guys... I'm not going to ask you for your opinions on Ariana Grande again. Jesus Christ. <laughs> have, have any of you guys listened to her music? How do you like the album compared to her last album? What was the last one called? Yours something. B -b 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 amazing. Vomit. Meh. It burnt my ears. Terrible. Okay, what about... Does anyone have any, any more uh, in-depth opinions on why you prefer it or don't? This one is better. <laughs> uh, <laughs> it's good. Moist. Great. Fantastic. Um, just 
look, it's called yours truly. Yep, she's grown up. Yeah. Demi is better. Okay, the lyrics are worse. Really? You think so? You like rap. You hate the rap in it. I think that Ariana... I definitely ship Ariana and Big Sean like that quite a lot. Uh, she's a slut, said someone. Look, that is the number one thing that you should shut the fuck up about, okay? Just stop. Okay, watch Mean Girls. Tina Fey quote, okay? <laughs> no. Bad. I, I can't... I'm not going to even... I mean, I've, I've, we've had this conversation like a hundred times about why you shouldn't be mean about Ariana Grande. <laughs> She can sing, but I don't like her style. That's okay. You're allowed to have opinions. Just don't be mean to her. <laughs> her lyrics aren't very meaningful. I don't think she writes most of her lyrics. Neither did Mariah Carey, but she is extremely talented, isn't she? Anaconda. Anaconda. What do you think of Anaconda? <laughs> Your bed is pissing me off. Look. Hey, this is the authentic Dan Howell bed exp- I'm- um, no, that's not true. When Tyler and Casper came around my house, I did make the bed for them. <laughs> Harry Styles wrote one. Yes, so I heard. So I listened to. I liked that. I like that he wrote it. I like that Harry Styles, as a solo artist, was on an Ariana Grande album. I thought that was a bit random. Emily M asked, can I have your number please? No. <laughs> WTF is in the back. That's the uh, inflatable dinosaur still in the room. Who are you? Said Veras K. If you don't know who I am, click on the buttons down there and go on an adventure of misery and procrastination. Your Twitter icon. Oh, yeah. Dan, step aside a bit. What, like, into the middle a bit more? Or to see the, to see the thing. Can I give you food? Said Daniel B. What food do you want to give me? <laughs> Entirely depends. If that's a tomato, get the hell out. If it's chocolate, then lovely, please. Do you have any other bed sheets? No, I just wash those. Make a cooking video soon. It's long overdue, isn't it, to be honest? I'm, I'm very much looking forward to the next cooking video. The website from when you were 12. Yeah, so I'm guessing a lot of you already know about the... um. The free webs, it's not even called free webs anymore, it's just called webs now, website that I made when I was 12. Um, I discovered that, whilst I presumed that that was a thing that most people knew, most of you don't. And if anybody remembers my point I made on a panel at Summer in the City last year, it's that you guys represent the most passionate 1% or less of a YouTuber's subscribers and that the vast majority of them really don't give a shit and don't really know anything and aren't really up to date with most things. Um, so, in fact, 99% of the people that even know I exist have no idea what I'm talking about when I say I made a website when I was 12, so I should make a video about that one day. Is Truth or Dare 6 coming anytime soon? Yes, because it's uh, overdue. It's overdue. I was supposed to do it in August. But then Tyler happened. Rude. Um, <laughs> yeah, I'll do that. It's a tradition. I could not do that. I don't know if I'll do it next. We'll find out. You'll find out later this week. Uh, 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 the VidCon video. Yeah, I'll probably upload that. I was going to upload that as an opportunity to tie in the website being read. I just broke my mouse by dropping it on the table. Magic mouse. Shiny. Swipey. <laughs> yeah, that... Oh, oh my god, I nearly closed the window. Please, it's been very long since I've accidentally ended my own broadcast by internet connection, pulling out the cable. I think the funniest time I ever um, disconnected from you now <laughs> was when I pulled my iMac forward towards me so I could read something and it pulled the plug <laughs> out of the back of it. And everyone was like, dude, where did you go? That was great. That was very intelligent. I'm making cookies, said Charlotte B. Oh, please deliver, virtually. I should make a cookie button down here on the thing. Do I watch Big Brother? Used to. Last last season of Big Brother I watched was the Sam Pepper season. I, I liked Sam. Oh, that's so weird. Who, who else watched Big Brother when Sam Pepper was one of the Big Brother contestants with Josie and John James? 
I, I'm, I don't even like Big Brother. It's Phil that liked Big Brother. I just watched it because I was in the same room as him and we were in Manchester. Yeah. Do, 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 do. It was the best season. Aww. Sam used to cry all the time because he was getting bullied in a bantery kind of way. Oh, Sam. <laughs> Doesn't like to talk about that now. <laughs> Dan, you're sassy and classy and the hat is trashy. Thank you, Gemma Green 05. I agree. I take it off, but... Oh my... Yeah. Uh, like most Tuesday... When, when am I ever going to actually make myself look presentable for a live show? Do you guys like that I just don't leave the house on Tuesdays and I just waltz up to a live show, literally, <laughs> how I woke up? Is that nice? Ugh, no. Your hair is amazing. Never. Doctor Who? Do you know Mariana's Trench? Yes, 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 whatever. Mm. See, unmade bed? Unmade Dan. If you married me, this is what you'd get. Can't complain, although I probably wouldn't wear the hat, because I do not wear this. <laughs> I'll give you a watermelon, you accept? Daniel, you got back to me with the food. Watermelon, yes. I like watermelon. Your Watermelon is one of the things that I used to hate in life, much like broccoli and mushrooms. But now, for some reason, out of nowhere, I like melon. What can I say? I have your duvet set, do you? Me and Anthony Padilla from Smosh have the same duvet set, and that duvet, duvet set that we have is the identical duvet set to Phil's duvet set, just in a different colour. What are the chances? Just all coincidences. Move to the left. Love your videos, said Louis. Thank you, Louis. Please say hello to Christina and Abby. Hi. I'd happily marry you, said Lily. <laughs> Thanks. Do you like the band Him? Yeah. I'm not, like, massively into them, but I used to... It's from Ikea. You're disgusting. Hey! 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 This apartment was unfurnished when me moved in, okay? When me and Phil moved to London, we had no money. It was a terrible idea, and the whole thing was just based on the wild presumption that maybe Radio 1 would say yes to our show pilot that we sent them. <laughs> so when we bought everything, everything we bought was from Argos. The fact that I got my bedsheets from Ikea was a luxury, okay? <laughs> I think we furnished the entire apartment from furniture that we got from Argos. And it was so bad. Like, it, it all fell apart within, like, a month. It was terrible. I mean, when you pay £15 for a chest of drawers, you really get... It's, it's the value for money, you know what I mean? But, oh my god, furniture is so expensive. Like, still, like, pff, Ikea, that's fancy in my... But I, I in everything... Literally, Ikea, 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 Ikea. It comes in a set. I know how to make it. But compared to furniture that you don't have to make yourself, oh my god, it's so expensive. Have you been on, like, even like a department store like John Lewis or Walmart or Target? It's expensive. And then you go on, like, a, a nice furniture shop and you're like, oh my god, is this how much everyone's grandparents have spent on the sofas that they own? <laughs> Hello to Nathan Trisker. Hello to Hannah Honies. My screen is broken. I can only hear you. <laughs> oh no. Sorry, you're not missing out on much. To be honest, is your camera fixed? It's gonna cost me two hundred pounds to fix the camera lens that fell off the tripod. <sighs> I learned a lesson about making. I mean, it wasn't my fault. The screw fell out of the tripod, but Jesus, oh my God! Right, I nearly cried, but I was like, I guess I need it for my life. So yeah. <laughs> Although it is kind of like, it's like, people need a car to get to work. I need my bloody lens to fulfill the only purpose that my life has. <laughs> which is YouTube, which is the entire reason why I do anything. That's like 400 American dollars. Yes. <laughs> YouTube, oh, yeah. So, Felix has got rid of comments. Oh, he did a Ray William Johnson. That's quite bad. It makes me think that any plans to come to New York? Jalen, I will always want to go back to New York. Um, yeah, like, I think of my comments and other than like, because the thing is with YouTube, you get kind of like trolls, which are literally people just trying to wind up other people, which you shouldn't be bothered by. You should just find it maybe kind of funny, depending on how edgy they're being, and then kind of just feeling bad for the people that feed the trolls and get deliberately wound up. Then you have 
haters, which are just people looking to project their angry feelings onto a YouTuber <laughs> by calling them fat or stupid or something, which is fine. Um, and then you have kind of confused people that don't speak English that are just lost, that have no idea what's happening. And then you just have kind of the YouTube community and the subscribers. And when you think of like all of that, I think the comments under my videos are fucking amazing. Like if you were to think about the different kinds of YouTube videos, I, I'm de my YouTube comments are definitely in the top 1%. Like I go to read my comments when I'm bored because they're interesting. You know what I mean? Especially when I do like a Reasons Why Dan's a Fail type video. And I ask for anecdotes and stuff. That is, it's the best thing, you know what I mean? Because everyone in the comments is like, you asked for it, here's my life story. And it's like a 10 paragraph essay about how something ruined their life. And it's funny. But I understand that gaming, the quality of the comments is just automatically so much worse. But I think it's just the fact that he's so popular. There's no way that you can have any kind of coherent anything. It's like a music video. You go into the comments under a Rihanna video and it's just like, it's just, it's a torrent of poo, isn't it, basically. So I feel bad for him. And I know that it's just people promoting themselves all the time, which is, it's not, it's not a cool thing. Don't promote yourselves in other people's comments. It's just not seen as etiquette, okay? That's a larger conversation. But yeah, I wonder, yeah, it's fine. Say Benedict Cumberbatch really fast. But then they come a batch. I think I missed half of the things in that. So yeah. Ooh. But you know, whatevs. Young Lean. What about Young Lean? Pauline. Pauline. Tell a story involving you and Pudes, said Rachel Custodio. Watch my I Mumble video. That's <laughs> that's, that's my anecdote about trying to impress Pudes at a dinner table and it not necessarily going exactly how I planned, but <laughs> He didn't unfollow me, so I couldn't have made that bad of an impression. <laughs> Will you come to Norwich? I went to Norwich once. That was fun. How was watching Prawn with Tyler? Incredibly disturbing. Not gonna lie. When does American Horror Story start again? I'm not on top of anything. Yeah, I mean... He tweeted you an Alfie. I saw. Ugh. Entertaining Alienware motherboard bant. Bet all the... Young teen girl fans enjoyed that. <laughs> Which is very rude of me to imply that just because you're young or female that you don't have an interest in video games or have knowledge about the working of motherboards. Yep, yep, needed to correct myself for that one. <laughs> want to visit Sweden? I really want to visit Sweden. Do you love me, said Lynn. I don't know you. You could be a cannibal. Why did Alfie's laptop break? Because Alienware's have a program that updates the BIOS and it physically breaks the hardware on the motherboards and I had to have mine replaced three times and I'm guessing the same thing happened to Alfie. <laughs> oh, what an entertaining conversation that was. Do you watch Geordie Shaw? Nope. Which K-pop groups do you like? Which K-pop groups do I like? I'm only very mainstream. I'm not a huge K-pop fan, although I'm guessing you're asking because of the uh, Teens React video. I like uh, um, To Anyone and Big Bang and Girls' Generation and Super Junior, obviously the big mainstream ones. I like Psy. Gangnam Style probably is the best K-pop song of all time. Um, I appreciate XOM for their bilingual tendencies. I'm trying to think of some other ones. Did I say shiny? They're the best dancers, aren't they? It's summer, what's your YouTube OTP? I don't know if I have one. It's weird when you know the people. <laughs> mm -mm -mm. Thanks, Lisa. Teens React? Yeah, Teens React to K-pop too. How excite. What the hell? I thought K-pop was a band. <laughs> K-pop is Korean pop music, if you, if you don't know. Are you going to Playlist Live Tri-State? I don't know yet. I don't have plans to. Maybe I'll last minute turn up. I don't know. I'm not planning to as of this very moment. Mm -mm 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 -mm. YouTubers, not teens. Did I say teens? Oh, the... Okay, right. Well, it started off as Teens React. Or did it start off as Kids React? I meant YouTubers React. Thanks for correcting me. Netherlands. I love all Nordic countries. 
kids. It started off as kids, didn't it? It was like kids react to dubstep. And such lols. 10 million subscribers. They invited me to their official 10 million subscriber party and I was like, I live 10,000 miles away. <laughs> but I appreciate the invite. Thanks, guys. Do I watch Attack on Titan? Yeah. I cannot believe... When is the next season coming out? Like, August 2015 or something absolutely horrific. What's the excuse? Why does your teddy bear have a lampshade on it? It is the lamp. The teddy bear doesn't have a head. The head is the light bulb. What wacky design that is. There's another season. What? Yeah. Do I like Tim Burton? I do. Quite a lot. I love Tim Burton. Have you watched this season of The X Factor? No. Should I? Kind of gone off X Factor. The last X Factor season I watched was... One Direction, I think? I think? Yeah. That was a good season. The One Direction season. Who else was on that one? It used to be okay. I mean, think of the iconic people. Sh What's Cher Lloyd up to these days? Wow, yeah. Anyway, four years ago, Dan. I know. Oh, nostalgia for One Direction. <laughs> Rebecca Ferguson. Are you going to watch Strictly? The Strictly lineup is impressive this year. Wow. Actual celebrities. Probably won't watch it, but who knows? Maybe I will. Sleepers for the week. Matt Cardle. Matt Cardle. Mark Harville kind of flopped, didn't he? I was... I think he was a nice guy. He seemed very sad. I don't think Matt Cardle needed to be so self-critical. I think he should have had a bit more faith in himself. Because there was, there was like an ITV2 documentary following the life of Matt Cardle. And it was, it was just so depressing. He was just like, I'm, I'm really sad. I don't know what kind of music I want to make. And I think my label's going to drop me. Oh no, my label dropped me. Guess I'm sad and I have no career anymore. Uh, and it's like, well, this, this was a great time. I really loved watching this. SAO2, yep, Sword Art Online continues to be the best thing that I'm currently watching. Absolutely life-ruiningly. It's, they're such teases. They can't, Sword Art Online can't just give us, like, five seconds of action every 20 minutes every week. Like, we're waiting, we're just waiting for Kirito to get out his sword and kick some ass, and then it happens for like six seconds, and in that six seconds it's so incredible that you want to rip your own face off and throw it at the wall, and then it's just over. And the rest is talking, and the talking is good, but it's just, it's so life-ruining. <laughs> buh, buh, buh. Callum from Five Seconds of Summer. Hmm, yes. I mean, I heard that that was sent a long time ago, but if you don't do that, you don't do that. And if, uh, the fappening taught you about anything, it's don't. It doesn't matter if you're not famous now and you don't think you ever will be. Revenge porn exists and it's a really, really horrible thing. Don't ever send naked pictures of yourself to anyone because if that person just decides they don't like you or you break up, even if you're just a teenager, they might not even like you that much and they might just forward it to someone at school and then everyone around school is looking at your naked photos and it ruins your life. Even if you're married to someone, don't do something because then, you know, something. Just don't. Just don't. Just don't, okay? You don't need to. <laughs> ba -ba 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 -ba. There's a moth in my room. Mm. Great British Bake Off. I love Great British Bake Off. I feel sorry for all the celebs, though. I feel sorry for them. It's kind of pervy, isn't it? I like the giant war that's re-engulfed between Tumblr and Reddit, where everyone on Reddit's just kind of like, oh, adding this to the fat bank, and then everyone on Tumblr is like, this is abuse! Internet shite storm. Whoa. Uh, there is a difference between people not wearing clothes in a calendar or for charity, or for something funny, and then someone literally like having a sex tape. What I'm saying is, don't have a sex tape. Don't have something intimate designed for one other person. Dan, why is your bed messy? I Stop having a go, okay? <laughs> what did you take for your GCSEs? I took French, graphic design, drama, and geography. And I had a psycho-French teacher, and art teachers that didn't know how to teach. Uh, an alcoholic drama teacher, or no, that wasn't my drama teacher at the time, and my geography teacher was the head teacher, so that was just incredibly stressful. 
I am a freshman. That's good. Say hi to Morgan and Katie. Hi, Morgan and Katie. Do you like Breeze Blocks by Alt J? I love Breeze Blocks by Alt J, and I love Alt J. I think they're incredible. I was very sad that their bassist left the band. Do you guys know about that Alt J? Really, really great band. If you don't, if you like bands, and you haven't heard of Alt J, as in A L T dash J, which if you press on a keyboard it makes a triangle. <laughs> Um, they are absolute. Their their first album was absolutely incredible. I cannot name it, rate it higher, five stars. And then their bassist left because even though they're a really nice band that people like in a nice way, he just didn't like being famous, which is sad. How sad is that? I mean, kind of cool and weird, but sad. Me and Phil got to meet him. There's a video of us. If you um, go to YouTube and search. Uh, just Dan and Phil Alt J, then you can see our interview with him. <laughs> we 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 asked him classically dumb questions, and he's so sarcastic. I think he obviously hated us, but I loved him. He was so funny. He was great. Please say I love Noella. Okay, hope that made your life. Do you have a favorite Harry Potter character? Snape, obviously. How can anyone read all of the Harry Potter books? get to the Half-Blood Prince, and then not have their life changed when they discover what Snape's really about. Can I play something on the piano? I don't know anything new. <laughs> Maybe Mill one day. Snape, Snape, Severus, Snape. Speaking of Neil Cicerega, what's he up to these days? One of my favourite internet creators of all time, Neil Cicerega. I used to listen to his music. He had a band called Lemon Demon. I mean, I, I am a nerd. I think when I was younger, I was even more of a nerd. No, I think I'm the same. It's fine. He's uploading once a month. Oh, same as me, I'm joking. <laughs> okay, that's fine. He still makes iconic Shrek videos. Who are you? I'm a YouTuber called Dan. Click on the red play button to discover me. Good luck. Can you try to say my name, said Alessandra. If that was a test, I win. Do you watch Potter Puppet Pals? Used to, yeah. Do I like Haim's new song? Haven't heard it yet. I'm a bit slow, aren't I? Haim new song. Open a tab. What's your name? <laughs> it says, unless you're on the mobile app. What does it look like if you're on the mobile app? Reading and Leeds 2015 remains to be seen. Uh, let's see what the, the lineup is like. Hopefully, hopefully they'll have more colossally biggest bands of all time kind of people. That'd be nice for me. Arcade Fire? What about Arcade Fire? One of my fave bands of all time. I've seen them live three times. Life-changingly amazing each time. <laughs> Hi Sandra and Aria. It does say your name. Oh, thanks Hannah. Yes, it, it does say Dan Howell on the app. Thank you. It's Jess's birthday. Happy birthday. <laughs> Emily tipped a fedora tip. I should invest in a fedora. I can't be truly I ironic until I do. Oran Host Club. That's a great anime. That gets a five star rating. Probs maybe. That's a comedy. What bands have you seen live? Hundreds. I'm hungry and tired. Said I know. Oh dear. I like your jumper. Says Natalie. Thank you. So do I. B but make your bed. No, you don't own me. Stop demanding things. I'm jokes. B -b 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 How's your neck after Age of Empires? <laughs> okay, so I um I found I rediscovered one of my favorite video games of all time that I used to play when I was twelve. You guys know what Age of Empires is, right? And then twenty percent of you maybe have heard of Age of Empires. It's a PC game. It's an RTS. That's a real-time strategy game. It's good. Um, and Age of Mythology is a version of it that's themed on Greek, Norse, and Egyptian mythology, and oh my god, it was one of my favourite games ever. And I I bought it, <laughs> and on my day off, I played it consecutively for 12 hours on my laptop. You know in my videos where I do the kind of sarcastic browsing position where I'm on my sofa crease, I was in this, I was literally in this, in the browsing position, in my sofa crease, and I played a game with my hands and wrists like this, and my neck like this, 
for 12 hours and I was in so much pain afterward. Like seriously, my arms hurt to extend and then when I stood up right, I was like, I think I, I've literally disabled myself. As someone says, Alicia says, you say literally too much. I <laughs> I do say literally too much, don't I? Shout Magazine. I bought Shout Magazine. I just knocked another one of my lenses off the desk. I'm not even... Are you alive? Are you... Okay, that's... Okay, wait. Oh. Okay. Okay. Ah, everything's fine. Everything's fine. <laughs> I bought Shout Magazine from the airport. I haven't opened it yet. Should we have this moment to get? This is an exclusive. This this could be a, a tweet that I do. Ugh. Okay. So, not that there's anything wrong with the teen demog- Ooh, they give you free sweets. What else do I get? A petal. This is, this is such promo for Shout Magazine. I don't care. They, they were nice. Okay, um, what is this? For all hair colors. What is this? Hair... Hair paste? Hair dust? What is this? How does this work? How to use your hair chalk. Run it over the hair you want to colour. Keep doing this until you have the depth that you want. For more intensity. Wet before use. I have really, really dark brown hair. I don't think purple hair chalk would work on me. Or would it? Please do it, said everybody. I'm really hungry. It's ten and I haven't eaten. I never eat before live shows. I really should eat before I do this, shouldn't I? I'm just gonna calm your tits. I have to eat first. <laughs> mm -mm -mm, mm -mm. Lily Tombalani said, I'm buying you a llama. Thanks. Much appreciated. I'd love one. Please say, I love Samantha. Okay. What is this? Hmm. Hmm. Oh, wow. Is this chewing gum? We're not supposed to swallow this. Riveting entertainment with Dan Howell. There's no pressure for me to actually be entertaining doing these. It's meant to be casual. Mmm. We don't give a fuck. Do the chalk, bitch. Right. Just for saying that, I'm gonna have another mouthful before I do anything. Strawberry flavour. Tastes vaguely melon flavoured, in my opinion. Mmm. Mmm. The ingredients are in Arabic. What the hell is this? Can I swallow this? I'm going to. Okay. <laughs> right. Am I allowed to just like lick this? Okay. Um. Okay. Okay. I'm gonna wipe that on GQ. Okay. Permanently stained my finger. How does this work then? Do I just grab a, a strand of my fringe and? Oh. Oh. There we go. Oh. Is this how all the cool young teens do it these days? Oh. I was joking when I said that. I'm not that old. Oh, it's like I'm doing half of a punk edit. This is exciting. Wow. Someone said ugly. You're talking about the colour, or are you just being mean? <laughs> um, okay. Wow. This is... Oh, I didn't realise this would be so exciting. This is the kind of shit that some people would just make a main channel video. Chalking my hair purple! I'm joking. Um, God, this crap is stuck to my teeth. Okay. Um, should I keep it as just the fringe, or should I do my whole hair? I'll keep it as just the fringe for now. Hello. I'm da- Hey! When I was... 16, 15, 15 and a half, I did this. I dyed my hair. I dyed my fringe purple. Just like this. I looked exactly like this. I did it over the summer, and in my school, you're not allowed to have... Yeah, Phil did it. Phil did a Q&A while he dyed his hair. That's different. <laughs> um, yeah, I dyed my fringe purple, and then over the summer, the sun bleached it, and it went ginger. So when I came back to school, I didn't get expelled, because it just looked like I had a bit of a ginger fringe. That's fine. Colours are not part of what I'm into these days. I would, this would look much nicer if I didn't have trampy bed hair. Okay. Mm. How's free eternal summer? Mm. Great! Isn't it so good? I feel like in the first season of Free, the characters were all just kind of personality stereotypes. But um, 
in this new season, they're really going in with that angst, aren't they? Like, oh my god, when Haru smashed that, smacked that locker and shouted about the, his future to Rin, that was like, that was like the equivalent of a murder in a drama, wasn't it? Gotta love it. <laughs> I'm not, I can't do my entire head. There's no way. Okay. Um, what else do you want to discuss? Spoilers. Oh, sorry. Stop chalking. You stop chalking. Uh, blah, blah, blah. You basically just licked your hair. I, I, I'm gonna have a shower later. It's okay. <laughs> Do I ship anyone in free? No. Stop. Well, okay, I mean, I guess the entire fandom is based on inappropriate sexual things. Okay. Wow. So this is, uh, Dan with vaguely purple hair. That looks kind of cool. Blending in with the brown. Maybe. I'll take a selfie and post it on Instagram. And I've totally chalked all over my nice shorts. Anyway. <laughs> I just chalked on myself. <laughs> Emo, said somebody. Yeah, dye your eyebrows. That would ruin it. <laughs> Say hello to me, I'll give you cheese, said Eleanor. I love cheese, thanks. Hi, Gina. Dan, do you have keek? No. Show us the poster. Oh, yeah. Wow. I spent so long being distracted by the wonderful freebies that come with Shout Magazine. 2.99 in the news agent near you now, JK. And then that's a um, a bracelet. Not gonna wear that. What am I eating? I don't know, but I've been swallowing it. That's fine. So punk. Wow. Much punk. Very edit. <laughs> Much Daniel. I wish I was. I should be wearing a more emo jumper and less of a a swag jumper. Okay. Oh bloody hell! This is big. So we've got five sauce on one side. Seeing you naked. Oh my, f I, oh my god, okay. So on one, on one side, we have five seconds of summer. And on the other side, Jesus Christ, look at that. <laughs> wow. So, oh, look at that pose. That's so funny. That was a nice photo of me, kind of. So, um... For Radio 1, the BBC need stock images of anybody that works for them. So if they're doing any press releases, or if they need to put photos on iPlayer, or like a bio page of a website, they need it. So regardless of whether anybody wanted to, they made all of the Radio 1 DJs come for a photo shoot. And this was my photo there. Oh, look at that. Smouldering. My hair looks good in that photo. Don't wow, that's nice. It's <laughs> so funny. That, that, well, where have they got me lean? I'm just like in an abandoned warehouse. What, what is that photo saying? It's like, oh hey, just caught me leaning against a bit of corrugated iron. You know, sup? <laughs> so silly. And then I like this. It doesn't say Dan is not on fire. I love that someone's saying I'm in love with myself. If there's one person that self deprecates more than anyone else on earth, that's fine. Um, I'm not Dan as on fire or Dan Howell. I am simply Dan. <laughs> that's the best part of this. Look, at, I'm clearly, I mean, what does this mean? I'm obviously like Beyonce or Madonna status. I mean, they could have put Dan Howell, couldn't they, maybe? I think they had a conversation and they didn't know what to call me. Dan. I bet a bunch of people are going to buy Shout Magazine and won't have a fucking clue who I am. And then they'll be like, okay, who's this guy? with his weird leather jacket, leaning against some corrugated iron. Guess I'll just Google Dan and find out. <laughs> That's fine. Hmm. Wonder where I'm gonna put that. Thank you, Shout Magazine. As I said, I... Obviously, YouTube is mostly populated by young people, but I don't design my content in a strange marketing way to appeal to teens. It's just that, you know, I make whatever I want to make and whoever likes it, likes it. Which is wonderful. Thank you all for liking it. So I'm not exactly aiming for the whole kind of, you know, teen magazine kind of thing. Like, I posted it on Facebook and half of my friends were like, gross, but it's really lovely that they did that. And I'm very grateful. And because everybody was cyberbullying Shout Magazine, I think they're gonna have to do a poster of Phil, <laughs> which is quite funny. And they were like, how can you do that and not do Phil? And the Shout Magazine were like, please, stop abusing us. 
your fifth on the Google results for Dan, Google results change based on your browsing history, so that wouldn't be the same for everybody. Look at me, I'm just rudely eating. Oh, it's 10 o'clock. I need to go soon. Mm. Justin Bieber got arrested again. I heard, silly Justin. Oh. I was really rooting for Justin Bieber. Like back in the day, as I've said on here multiple times, what was Justin Bieber guilty of? Guilty of being a talented singer and dancer that got picked at an early age to do teeny pop. That's not a reason to hate anybody. It just means that you're not into his music. But then, how many times are you going to get arrested for dangerous driving? Come on, Justin, make it easier for yourselves. <laughs> mm. Wow. These are good. Ah, anyway, product placement. Do you like Marilyn Manson? I love Marilyn Manson. When I was a hardcore 13 year old, Slipknot and Marilyn Manson were my favourite musical things. I loved the, um, the new Slipknot song. Did I talk about that? I didn't. New Slipknot song a couple weeks ago. Ferocious. It was like old Slipknot, wasn't it? I'm not, I don't agree with the whole kind of circle jerk over, oh, it's like they're old good music. Artists are allowed to evolve, okay? We got Origins of Symmetry Muse, and now let's enjoy whatever comes after the second law muse. Don't make them recreate the same thing and then get sad when they don't do it as well. Uh, uh, um, did I just dribble? I nearly did, yeah. <laughs> These things are gluing my teeth together. Slipknot terrify me. They're just white guys being really hardcore, wearing masks. But they have some crazy butthurt fans, so I wouldn't say that in front of them, otherwise they'd <laughs> arrive at my house and bottle me. You cannot listen to Arcade Fire and Justin Bieber at the same time. You can. You can. You can listen to Skrillex and Beethoven. You can listen to Dimu Borgir and The Knife if you want to. You know, what kind of music you listen to and what the music sounds like genre-wise. And the person who made, you know, separating personality from artist. The thing is with rock stars is you often really love the music, but then most rock stars are just awful people. <laughs> but, you know, it's hard to be like, Oh, Justin, stop drink driving and whatever, you silly billy. I hope that when Justin's 30, he'll be like, Sorry for all this stuff. We can hope. I think it's just because of the people that he was surrounded by, you know, his backup dancers and the rappers that he was surrounded by. He just tries to emulate the friends that he was given from his weird, warped childhood that he didn't get to enjoy because he was too busy being moulded by Usher. Not that we can feel too st sorry for multi-billionaires. Not that we should judge people just for having money. Don't be angry, Kristen Stewart. But then at the same time, who knows? Who cares? Did I miss anything? No, just me waffling about nothing. Should he change his race to black? Acting swaggy listening to that kind of music and stuff. I mean, you shouldn't stereotype that, you know, black people are allowed to not dress like that and listen to hip-hop. <laughs> uh, I bet there's there's so many boring videos about society I'd want to make one day. Okay, um, so I'm going to go before I think that this is my dinner. <laughs> That's fine. I hope you guys have had a nice day and a nice week. And I hope you enjoyed the radio show. Next Monday, 9 o'clock, is going to be our first YouTuber guest, Tom Scar. So we'll be tweeting that when it happens. And I hope you're all nice to him. Because he's very excited and he wants everybody to be nice to him. So we should all be supportive. Um, I'm going to make a video probably tomorrow. So expect that at some point this week. And sooner or later, you'll find out why we wanted to do this thing with the radio show. And all that crap. So... Bye. I'll go take a photo with the purple hair, because it happened. Maybe. We'll see. If I can't take a, take a successful selfie art after 100 attempts, it's not a promise. Right. Ciao. Be happy and nice. Bye, people. Bye to Lily Tombalani. Bye to Hannah Honies. Bye to Lily C. Bye to Linda. Bye to GT something. Bye to Lucy. Bye to Lily. <laughs> Bye to Emily. Show Phil your hair. I'm sure Phil will see my hair. Bye to Isla Skull, that's nice. You can rent a llama from this website. Get one soon, Catherine. Bye bye, Hannah. <laughs> Stop being seductive, okay? Let's make parodies of the pic. I look forward to you cyberbullying me.
Goodbye, Leah. Goodbye, Emily. Goodbye, Sasha. Goodbye, Samantha. Alana. Hannah. Okay, I'm going. Right, ciao.